good evening to all uh, so uh, while we'll talk about the certification before that we thought we'll unveil the internal audit today which is the official magazine for institute of internal auditors india so can you put it up please so we thought uh, actually those who are aware we started a digital edition of internal audit to today from august 2020 and i believe it has become a crowning glory for institute of internal auditor in terms of presentation in terms of content quality it has really uh, climbed a lot now this year basically a new committee has been formed reconstituted uh, other than mr k vidyadharan all of the committee members are totally new the first dictate was to come out with a so this is the basically the committee members you can see mr vidyadharan is there mr rangasamy is there deputy chair so as a first dictate from our president we thought to come up with a edition along with the national conference and i am quite happy to share with you all that we have been successful with that so this is the edition can you go to the next page please now since morning we are hearing about the diverse demand in terms of capabilities and skills from internal auditors and i am quite happy to see that the publication committees thought alike and you can well see the type of uh, write-ups, articles that we came up with. There was an interview with the Institute of Company Secretaries, newly elected Company Secretaries of India. His thought about internal audit today. We had a write-up on internal auditors positioning in the organization. Similarly, we had a write-up on credit rating. VUCA world risk based internal audit and the concerns and controls related to cloud environment, cloud accounting. Can you go to the next page, please? The regular features are all there. We have the CIA quiz, we have the, uh, the student section on risk management, and a very interesting write up from a student on plant obsolescence. Uh, we this recently RPG group, one of the leading group in our country, they had a conclave for internal audit, and uh, one of our uh, uh, member of the committee, Puja, she captured that event. We uh, we included that in this. So just I come from Kolkata, so just I can draw analogy of internal auditors with our goddess Durga only, Dasho Puja. So today's internal auditors have to learn everything and just with uh, 10 hands has to fight with the demons. So having said that, my request is to continue your patronage. Please give us feedback. This edition will be mailed to you all as well as 25,000 uh, professionals across the country as well as our neighbors. People are here from Bangladesh. We also send it to Sri Lanka. So you would look forward for your inputs and obviously contributions in terms of articles. Please feel free and let's be engaged. Thank you. Okay, if we can just have the next uh, slideshow please on certifications. Uh, first of all, congratulations all of you. I think you've got amazing stamina. You've been sitting here the whole day. So what I can promise you is I will not take more than five minutes. Do you have the PPT on IIA certifications? It's titled IIA Certifications. Anyway, we do get a lot of questions as to what are the certifications which IIA offers and basically there are just three of them. So I will not spend more than four or five minutes talking about them. I think the one which all of you know about is the CIA certification. Uh, one which so many people do not know about is the IAP which is the internal audit practitioner. Uh, the beauty of the internal audit practitioner, okay, so here we have it. If you can go to the next slide, please. So these are the three key certifications which IIA offers. One is a certified internal auditor, which most of you would have heard about. 
Uh, the second is the CRMA, which is the Certification and Risk Management Assurance. And the third one is on Internal Audit Practitioner. So next slide, please. So the Internal Audit Practitioner program is basically, it's a simplified version. It's a basic version. It's a foundational version. Where it really helps you is that in case you are a brand new internal auditor in an internal audit department, or if you are a rotational internal auditor, because I've come across many companies which have people from different functions passing through the internal audit department. For these people to do the IAP program can actually be fantastic because it allows you to very quickly get a little idea about the IPPF, the standards for the professional practice of internal audit, a little bit about fraud and how to handle internal audit engagements. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, what you will also see is that it's a very reasonably priced, probably uh, the most reasonably priced out of all the certifications. So if you're a member of IIA, it just costs you $225 inclusive of application fees as well as the exam registration fees. But you will also notice that if you are not a member, it can cost you up to $400. So it's an absolute no-brainer. Become a member and sit for the CIA certification. The second advantage of an IAP is that you could be in college. So if any of you want to hear about this, if you have friends who are in college, you can start doing this in first year or second year. You don't need any entry uh, criteria. So you could clear this and probably the IIA will help you to get internships. If you have any friends, any relatives who are in college, they could consider this so that by the time you finished with third year, you have an IAP which automatically gives you an entry into the CIA certification and you can also get some practical exposure and then decide whether you would like to uh, pursue a career in internal audit or not. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, this is as far as the CI is concerned, you all know about it. We are just talking here about the fees. Uh, I'm sure what you can all very clearly work out is the huge discounts which are available. Uh, for a member, it's almost 50% of what it would cost a, a non-member. Even members in other countries tend to pay about 25 to 33% more. Next slide, please. Uh, the, Third thing is the CIA challenge exam. I don't know how many of you have heard about, uh, anyone who has not heard about the CIA challenge exam? Okay, so we have a few people. The CIA challenge is, is available for people who are members of 17 qualified or 18 qualified accounting bodies. Uh, this includes ISACA, it includes the Institute of Chartered Accountants. So if you have those qualifications, you can in one sitting, rather than sitting for the three part exam, each part separately, you can sit at one shot for the CIA uh, challenge exam, 150 questions, three hours, and if you clear, Within uh, 24 hours, you get your results. Within seven working days, you get your CIA certification. So it's certainly a shortcut, but don't underestimate the amount of effort which is involved. Uh, don't be complacent. Just because you think you know everything about internal audit, it's not enough. You really need to be very, very clear about your concepts in order to do it. It's just a warning from someone uh, who did his CIA at the age of 49. Uh, next slide, please. Okay, so this is the list of uh, 18 qualified uh, body, qualified uh, accounting bodies. Most of them are members of IFAC. All of them are actually. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, there is a CIA challenge exam schedule for those of you who are interested. As you will see, the registration windows are open in April and September, and you could sit for the exams in uh, June and November. So, you know, and if you're doing a retake, there are four schedules which are in front of you going up to February 2024. So uh, this is basically it. Is there anything else? Uh, next slide. I think we are through. Next slide, please. Okay, so this, uh, the CRMA is the Certification and Risk Management Assurance. Here again, the fees is provided. And uh, this is, you can only be eligible if you've already done your CIA. So it allows you to get a great amount of expertise in risk management, strategic risks, and you would be able to definitely, I think today, any good manager needs to be an expert in risk management. If you're an internal auditor, this kind of expertise certainly helps you even more. So if you are a CIA, certainly worth looking at. Next slide, please. Okay, so that's it. Thank you. Five minutes. Thank you for your patience and have a wonderful evening. Look forward to seeing all of you tomorrow. Thank you.